How you doing today? Whoever's listening right now, how are you? How's life? Now, I'm presenting to you right now the most important things in the world is the word of God. Oh, yes. You hear me right. This is better than money, better than gold, better than anything else in the world. Remember, naked, you came into this world. Naked, you will go back. The Bible says, buy the word of God, but sell it not. Because it's worth more than gold. Remember this. Everybody is broke. Oh, yeah. You didn't know that, did you? You know how? Because once they die, they're going to leave everything with them. So the things that they are using on this earth, they just, God just lend them to them. So in other words, you don't possess anything. You don't have anything. The house that you claim that's yours, that you love so much, you're going to leave it here for your family or for the government or for some siblings who's going to fight over it. It's not yours. The car that you love so much, your shoes that you bought so much, you love so much. Everything that you have, none of them belong to you. The only thing you can take with you, my friend, is the word of God because the word of God is forever. Now, I'm showing you this verse right now that you are looking at. What it says. This then is the message which we have heard and declare unto you. So John heard the message from who? From the Lord Jesus Christ. So the same message that John heard from the Lord Jesus Christ is the same message that he passes down to us. So after John passed down the message to us, what should we do? We should pass the same message to the people that we talk to, the same people that we preach to, your family, your kids, your friends, or if you minister in the congregation. So you should also pass the same message. But the day that we are living in right now, do the ministers pass down the same message that they heard from the disciples in the word of God? Now, if you continue reading the verse, what does it say? God is light. Let's stop right there. What is light? Light is the opposite of darkness. When God, the Lord Jesus Christ, wanted to confront Saul when he was persecuted in the church, how did he come? Light. The light shine in front of Paul and he saw this great light and he fell off his beast. You're going to find that in the book of Acts chapter 9. He fell off his beast. And what happened? He was knocked down. Then he saw the great light. And, he, and Jesus said, Saul, Saul. He said, yes, Lord. He said, why are you persecuting, the, my, uh, why are you persecuting me? So when he was persecuting the church, he was persecuting Jesus. So when these ministers, these fake pastors, those mega church pastors, when they are, when they are robbing, the flock of God, the, the, the sheep of God, the children of God for their money, for their offering, for their tithes. They're lying to them. They don't preach them the truth. They are dumb dogs. They cannot bark. They don't preach the word of God. They, 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 they preach sugary messages to, the, to God's people. Instead of passing the same message that they heard from the word of God, that they heard from the disciples, instead they're preaching philosophy. So God is light. He shined the light to Paul. And right after that, Paul was changed. And the Bible says right here, in him is no darkness at all. So if in the Lord Jesus Christ, there's no darkness. How can somebody say that they are saved? They are serving Jesus Christ. They're preaching the word of Jesus Christ. 
How could they be living in darkness? How could somebody be a homosexual and call himself a Christian? Because there's no darkness in God. So these preachers, these celebrity preachers, okay, that are on television, they will never preach against darkness. When the Bible says darkness, you know what it means? Fornication, idolatry, homosex, lesbianism, bestiality, people that are sleeping with animals, the priests that are raping those kids, pedophiles, all right? Premarital sex, the celebrities that are uh, dressing like prostitutes and whores they're teaching our young girls how to be a whore how to be a prostitute the young rappers that are cursing like like gangster rappers they cursing like there's no tomorrow they drinking they smoking pot they getting laid they they getting drunk they getting high all sorts of unrighteousness all sorts of filthiness in uncleanness and they think that it is the right way but these pastors in these last days never say anything about those uncleanness when you call yourself a man of god you're supposed to preach light the light supposed to shine in the darkness in other, in other words if you have a friend that is a homosexual don't say you love him if you don't tell him the truth about his sodomy life. If you have a friend that is shacking up with his girlfriend, they're sleeping before marriage, that's fornication in the eyes of God. So that means if that person will die in this state, they will end up in hell. All those ministers, they are not the minister of God. That's why it says in uh, 2 Corinthians uh, uh Chapter 11, it talks about the ministers of Satan. Amen. So they transform themselves as a minister of God, as the minister of light, but they're actually working for Satan because those people who are working for God, they speak the words of God. Those people who are working for Satan, they preach philosophies. They preach motivational words. They, they are motivational speakers, but they don't preach to save your soul from destruction. They don't preach so that you can feel God, so that you can have eternal life, but they will preach you nice little words, philosophy words, fables that would uh, tickle your ears, but your heart will never change. You see what it says here? God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. So if you have darkness in your heart, if you have, if you have unforgiveness in your heart, if you have uh, uh, murder in your heart, if you hate your friends, you hate your mom, you hate your family, you hate your brothers, you hate your sisters, you slip around before marriage, you, you getting drunk, you getting high, you getting laid. You are not in the light, my friend. Those who are righteous, they are righteous even as they are righteous because they are the sons and daughters of God. See what it says in verse 6? If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, what are we? We lie and know not the truth. That's the message, my friend. All these messages that these guys talking about prosperity, gospel, you know, sow a seed for your need, name it and claim it, you know, claim this car, claim this house, you know, all this prosperity gain is God, it's not godliness, my friend. Just because you have a lot of money doesn't mean that you are saved. You are saved when you have fellowship with the Lord Jesus Christ and you are living for him. You are breathing for him. You are talking for him. Everywhere you go, you are, you are working for the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, before you come to me, deny yourself and carry your cross daily. You have to submit yourself to Christ. And he will receive you, my friend. That's why you have to repent of your sin. You can't go to heaven. There's no such thing as a Christian sinner. You see what it says here? 
if we walk in the light, if we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Jesus Christ came to this world for what reason, my friend? To destroy the works of the devil. What is the works of the devil? To keep you on sin. And you see how the word is going? Sin now is multiplying. Sin is becoming normal. People think it's normal to walk around. Two men, two gay men walking in the street, having kissing, holding hands. Two guys with beard. That is the nastiest thing ever. The Bible put them in the category of sleeping with a beast. The Bible, the Bible says in Leviticus 20, 13, a man shall not lie with another man as he sleep with a woman. It is an abomination before God and they both shall be put to death. That's the word of God. You can hate me all you want. You can call this hate speech all you want. The word of God will remain forever. This word was written before I was born. And it's still around, my friend. Even when God take me with him, this word will still be around. So you can get mad all you want. The word of God, you cannot change it. Men are like grass, man. They will pass away. The grass with it, the flower fades, but the word of the Lord shall remain forever. You have a chance, my friend, to change your life. It's either you surrender or you get left. That's all it is, my friend. You have to make a choice with your life. And stop compromising. If you listen to this word, you call yourself a Christian and you have homo friends, lesbian friends, fornicators as friends, and you don't tell them about the Lord Jesus Christ, you're not saved. You got a problem. There's a problem in you. If you hear this message and you get convicted, you need to fall down on your knees right now and give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ before it's too late. Christ is coming back and he's coming back with a church that is without blemish without spot the church that is sanctified and waiting for his return god bless share this